Hi, today's tutorial will talk about setting up development environment to develop Android applications. You will need few products to download and install before you can do it. You will need Eclipse ID, you will need ADT plugin, you also will need Android SDK. To get Eclipse ID, let's go to step 1, that's getting Eclipse ID. To get Eclipse ID, basically you need to go, um, you know, basically open your browser, go to google.com and say Eclipse ID download. And once you go to Eclipse downloads website, eclipse.org slash downloads. You can look locate the Eclipse ID you're looking for. You can get Eclipse ID for Java developers or Eclipse ID for Java E developers. I personally prefer for Java E developers because you can now also write uh, complex web services and things like that for your Android application. So just click on this, find out if your computer is 32 bit or 64 bit, downloaded it to my local folder and what I'm going to do and what I've done it I have taken that uh, it will come as a zip file I have unzipped it and I have unzipped as a Eclipse J2E Indigo Windows 32 bit folder and I have my Eclipse inside it here so you will see I have a bunch of files one of them is Eclipse.exe this is the executable you need to run to get everything um, started so going back to the PowerPoint you know, uh, we have to get Eclipse ID, which we have got now. So, the first thing I will do is I'll go and start Eclipse ID. To start Eclipse ID, you should go to your uh, software's folder, or wherever you have downloaded your uh, downloaded and unzipped your Eclipse J2E Indigo Win32. Look inside it. Look at Eclipse folder, and click on, on Eclipse.exe. So I start Eclipse.exe and it will ask me where is your workspace. So I will make a workspace. See users sans one that's my uh, local folder, user folder, workspace underscore Android. Yeah I see, okay. So this will create a workspace for me. So now we have um, Eclipse started here. The next thing what we need is uh, we need to go to help menu and if you look at the PowerPoint here you will see that the second thing I need is ADT plugin, Android Development Toolkit plugin and for that I need to go to my Eclipse, go to help, go to install new software. So you will see your install screen here and it will be saying um, available software which software um, you want to install. We are going to install ADT plugin here and uh, to do that what you need to do is you need to basically add an entry to the site that will give you ADT plugin. So to make your task easier what I've done here is I have copy pasted that URL here. So that URL is uh, https dlsslgoogle.com android eclipse. So I'm going to copy this for you here and uh, see. And once I download, I will go and paste it here. Work with this. I'll say add. It will give me ask me for a name. So I can say add plugin repository repository. I will fix this case problem here and I say OK. And now you will see that you will get this screen here which is going to uh, show what things I can download from that. So I will basically check this box here and um, I will download like few things. They will constitute everything I need to run in Eclipse to start my Android product. So after that I will say next and that will start downloading the product.
the you will get a screen like this which says install details and it will say review the items you want to install and basically you go and say next you want to install everything it will talk about the licenses if you want to review and accept them so I'm going to accept the licenses and then also finish the uh, software is basically downloaded you will get this option where it says that you need to restart your Eclipse so you say restart now and this is going to restart your uh, uh, Eclipse server and um, let's wait and Eclipse starting now in the background as you can see here it probably will take just a few more seconds and um, you know it, it's going up it asks for the workspace so I send it to the workspace I chose before so this is going to load my workbench and you will see um, your system like this to ensure that your ADT plugin is installed correctly you can quickly check it you can go to file new other and you should be able to see an Android uh, option here if you do not see an Android option here you probably have not installed ADT plugin correctly so uh, and I can see it's installed here so it's installed correctly so what I need to do is I need to go and choose Android project say next uh, before that um, before that um, you know you can do one more thing and uh, what that would be is you can go to your window go to Android SDK and AVD manager and here it will say location has not been set up in the preference let's do it again window preferences go to Android it will say where is my SDK located so uh, before you can um, really do anything here you need to have Android SDK installed and that's why if you look at this previous PowerPoint I was showing you I have third item as Android SDK which you need to go and install so how do you get Android SDK basically you go to the internet and uh, say Android SDK download and that will take you to developer.android.com slash sdk click there and uh, if you're on windows you will choose one of these options uh, installer r13 window.ex this is recommended so click on that that will start an exe file and then you'll go next 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 or if you're on mac then you will get the android sdk r13 mac x86 or linux you'll go with the linux portion of it so I being on Windows I will click on this and I'll start the exe process in fact before I started this uh, tutorial I already have uh, clicked on it and I've already installed Android SDK so my Android SDK I already have installed C softwares and I have Android folder here and this is where my Android SDK lo is located so once you would have basically clicked on this links and downloaded it you will be it will ask you where do you want to put your android sdk so i put that in c softwares android so my android sdk is located right here the next thing you need to do is you need to uh, go and start your sdk manager.exe if you will start your android sdk manager you will see that uh, you know a UI like this it's created and that will be basically um, coming and showing all the sources and the things you can download the first thing you definitely need to do is that um, you need to go and look at the available package and uh, look at Android repository you can basically uh, you have few options and uh, you can basically choose all of them and say install selected and you will basically get this wizard and you keep saying next 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 and I'll sh show you how uh, you will be going through this and that will allow you to install all these packages Okay, so basically uh, you know you go available packages as showing you um, choose all these Android repositories go and uh, you know say install selected and you'll get all this uh, components uh, you know installed to your computer I already have installed one version revision 7 
and uh, I also have 13 on my computer and I'll be downloading the others uh, meanwhile what you can do is you can go to virtual devices and you can say I want a new device you can give it any name like I'll call it uh, audio virtual device 1 Android virtual device 1 and uh, AVD 1 and uh, you can leave everything as default you can set the target um, so I still have my downloads are still not complete so when you will get this target you can say where you want to run this okay and uh, let me say uh, I already have started the download in the background and that probably will take a little bit of time and uh, so you can see here that I'm downloading um, an SDK platform Android 2.2 and it's 92 percent done and it should take two more minutes so while it does it I will take a quick uh, pause and I'll wait for this to complete so meanwhile my download is complete for um, Android uh, SDK platform 2.2 that's API 8 it's a uh, little older version but uh, this is the version I target for my application so that uh, even if you bought a cell phone or smartphone in last um, you know say uh, two years you should be able to use my program and I'll explain this more when we go with the training next thing I need to is I need to create a virtual device I'll say new it w I'll give it a name say I'll call it AVD1 and I'll set up to run on um, Android 2.2 API level 8 click on create AVD it already has created that and it's giving me the confirmation so I'll close this the other thing you need to do is you need to go to Eclipse and go to Window, Preferences, and you have to put your SDK location. So that C Surface Android SDK, Android SDK, I, you know, or you can browse and you can go there and say OK. And this list will be populated when you say Apply. So I have Android 2.2 here. This is what you can see here. So from here, the setting up part is easy. You know, you can go to New, you can go to Other, you can go to Android, Android Project, Next give it a name let's say that uh, my first Android project and you'll say where you want to run it give it a package name and I can give a package like com.sansa.android project and uh, you'll say where you want to run it so I'm saying run on 8 that's my 2.2 and I'll select this under 2.2 as my default where I want to run say next finish and you'll see that a project is created for Android and uh, it will have few things and we'll talk about the structure of the code itself and uh, you will have a source folder you will have a gen folder Android 2.2 assets and resources you'll see a file called main.xml is the, the file that will build your initial UI so you can go and you can make any changes you want to make for example I can go and I can say um, th there are many things I can say and um, you know there's a uh, parameter and I'll keep it very very simple at this time and uh, you know I can replace this part by say hello world save it and basically go back to my first Android project right click and say run as Android application and that will start my emulator it's running um, AVD1 which we just created for Android 8 and you will say it will take a few seconds and after that it's going to run the program which we have created and when it, the application runs you can see that it's saying hello world this is what you have put there this is my first android project and uh, this shows that you are able to download all the components you needed for starting with your android development environment and you are able to run your first program